Hey guys, it's Super FB here, back out with another video. And before we start with this one, remember to subscribe if you're new to this channel, like the video if you do end up liking it. Let's get on with it. So, this right here is the Zing E Pro 2207 motor. It is spectacular, it's great, and I've got a lot of talk about it. <laughs> so, let's get started. But before we actually start talking about specs and what I actually truly, truly think about it, I was provided this product by Banggood. I have to tell that to you guys. Keep in mind that I do not cloud my opinions with the fact that I got this for free. I liked it to a point where I actually bought a second pair, and that's what you're looking at right now. The first pair is on uh, on a 6S build that I've, I've, I'm put I'm putting to the side. I'm not going to show you guys yet. Maybe in a future video, I'll show you guys that 6S build. But yeah, this is a great motor. TLDR, buy it. It's a great motor, great deal. Uh, the only complaint that I really had was the motor bell is kind of weak. Sort of, not like super, super weak, but like it'll scratch pretty easily. Uh, that's like my only complaint. Um, the rod is pretty, pretty good and pretty sturdy. There's a, a couple of small features on there that I really like, really positive about. Uh, and that's about it. So let's get started. So let's talk about what actually comes in the box real quick. It's not much. It's pretty standard stuff. Uh, the box itself, the motor itself in all its glory and super nice stealthiness. Uh, a bag of screws, like four screws for your motor mount onto your quad and a lug nut uh, as well. And I mean, there's padding inside the box as well, which is great, you know, it protects the motors itself. And that's about it. So just a brief overview, this is the Zing E Pro 2207. I chose 2207 because I wanted to try a new size. I've, I've flown 2306, 2306.5, 2208. I've tried a lot, but I haven't tried 2207. And I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. I like the 2207 size a lot. Um, I'm sorry, this is kind of going on a rant about the 2207 size. I think there's a lot of punch with 2207. Not as much punch as my 2306.5s that I usually fly with 4S, but I still think it's a spectacular size and it's very dif uh, difficult to actually find a difference per se with 2306 and 2207. So if you're looking for a great size motor or a perfect size motor for a five inch freestyle drone, 2207 is the way, the way to go or 2306 depending on what your preferences are. So let's talk about the KV. Uh, I chose this in an 1800 KV because I wanted to make a 6S build. I don't really truly have a 6S specific build. And they were like, oh, let me send you some motors. And I was like, please give me some 6S speed motors. And this is bada boom, bada bam, this is what it was. 1800 kv for the zing e pro lineup fast as crap i had to dial it down in beta flight like this is a fast fast motor 1800 kv is pretty dang fast their 4s option was 2750 kv which is really fast and their um their 5s option is 2450 kv so all around this is a fast motor. It's a 6S motor. Uh, at least I chose it in a 6S motor. You can get it in a 4S or 5S option as well. Uh, we just talked about 2207, great size. That means that it's 22 uh, millimeters in diameter and seven millimeters in length. And we'll talk about that in a little bit as well with an open uh, like motor. I'll show you what that exactly means and everything. It says it weighs 33.8 grams. I'm gonna have to take it uh, at face value. I don't have a little gram, a cal gram scale thing. For you guys i'm sorry about that uh and really there isn't much else to talk about it's a motor if you guys know anything about motors you can go into the website like the banggood listing that i have in the bottom of the description just go in there you can just read the entire description where it talks about like the the current idle voltage and the internal resistance and stuff like that most people don't care about it they're just like oh is it a good 6s motor boom i'm gonna buy it. like <laughs> that, that's that's kind of how things work in terms of pricing right now on banggood it goes for 18.99 a piece yeah, now that is a relatively expensive motor, but honestly, I think this is a very, very spectacular and fast and worth it kind of motor. If you're trying to spend more than like 15 bucks, this I feel like this is the way to go. $18.99 per motor. It's pretty durable uh, and everything, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but yeah, for, uh, for $18.99, not a bad deal. So for this part of the video, I'm going to take you through the outside of the motor while talking about a few of the features that actually caught my eye on this. Uh, this has a really nice satin black finish to it. Really eye-catching, really stealthy. Uh, it's got that nice white writing on it that says Zing E Pro. Got that size, the 2207. If it focuses correctly, 2207. 1800 KV, if you really want to shred it out there, 1800 KV. 
is all there for you <laughs> and, uh, and i've got like a 90 percent uh throttle not throttle motor cap on it just because i can't handle how fast this is like this is a fast pair of motor i know most people are going to be like oh it's not that fast but for me it's that's pretty fast i like to be a little slower when i freestyle so 1800 kv is pretty is pretty high but sorry having that 1800 kv uh it's kind of a perk because then you can if you ever want to go that fast you can you have the capability of it uh this top is super nice this uh, these edges are kind of sharp because it is cnc aluminum but it's got like that nice like kind of shine to it on the inside that way you know it's like raw and aluminum that's been that's been cut up uh it's got this unibel design which is great i only really mess with unibel motors um, because I've had experience where the top would just pop off after a crash and having a Unibel design is amazing. In my opinion, I think you should only buy Unibel design motors. The top has like this nice little great, uh, design on the top. It's not really a design. It's more of a feature that way the propellers actually really, uh, engrave itself in there when you tighten it up. Uh, I forget what the shaft is. I feel like it's steel. Uh, it's very sturdy. I haven't bent any of the motors that I've used on my 6S build that I'm hinting at. So stay subscribed if you want to um, watch the, my 6S build video where I show these off and a couple other components. Really nice, cool looking spoke pattern. Um, that's about it. The bottom. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, wow, that magnet to magnet distance is very tight. Hasn't been an issue so far uh, in terms of getting any sort of like iron or ferrous material inside and grading up the motor it hasn't been an issue but i will tell you that it is very tight in there it's very tight it's a very tight uh <laughs> magnet to magnet distance uh it's, it hasn't been a problem yet with my other build but that is uh that is something to worry about the coils are in a nice tight coil uh it's not the nicest of coils that i've seen it is a little kind of overlappy and, and and loose but uh it's still got that nice coiling versus like the messy um the messy uh overlapping coil that you can see on some of the cheaper motors again not the best coiling that i've seen uh or the cleanest coiling that i've seen but it's still uh like a single stranded coil and not bad for 1899 uh, it's got the m2 uh screw on the bottom and <laughs> I'm so glad that it has an M2 screw on the bottom because some of these motors have that clip design and that clip design is absolutely terrible. If you're trying to open up your motor, you end up losing the clip, et cetera, et cetera. This is great. This is a great design. That's uh, or This is a great um, way to actually have your motors opened up through a screw uh, versus a clip. That's pretty much it that I can talk about. It doesn't have any of the other design features that some motors have in terms of like keeping your cables locked and clean there is there are some motors that have like a little attachment on the side that keep your motors from motor wires from lifting up uh, and it keeps it pressed down that's kind of just a minimal detail uh, some motors also have a little sheath at the bottom little coating or sheet at the bottom um, uh, to protect this the motor screws from actually touching the coils and causing hot motors this doesn't have that so those are some small things that they could have added, uh, but they didn't. Uh, and I, but I still recommend it for 1899. This is a, this is a beast of a motor. It, it'll shred. So I think I forgot to mention, but the motor wire is standard length and comes with an end that looks like this, where it's kind of pre, pre ready for you to just kind of put some solder onto and solder onto your drone. So. Uh, it's standard length. I, I really don't know what the length of this is, but it, it's pretty standard. Uh, it's not short. It's not too long. It's just perfect. So I quickly want to compare my 2306.5 motor that I normally uh, run with, with the new motor uh, in terms of the coiling standards. I think the coils on the 2306, uh, like the RCN Power Smooth motors are a little bit better than the, the Zing E Pro motors in terms of like the coiling pattern and quality of it. But I, I paid like twenty three dollars for this <laughs> versus eighteen ninety nine. So I guess you get what you uh, you get what you pay for. Uh, and this does have an additional feature of like the little motor wire hinge design thing. It's also an extra thing. Um, but yeah, I mean that's just a little side tangent. So those of you who do not know what the numbers twenty two oh seven mean, this is actually a twenty three oh six motor. This is a different motor. I didn't want to actually open this guy up and show you, but in the inside, I'm too lazy like that. But twenty two millimeters in 
this way. That's what that means. 22, the first two numbers mean how far wide from here, from edge to edge is. And the seven, or in this case, 6.5 is from the bottom to here, like the, the bottom to here distance. That's it. That's just a quick lesson on on sizing. <laughs> if you want to know what happens when you increase your size um, of motors for each of the numbers, there are multiple videos out there. I'll link a few in the description for you guys if you want a learning opportunity. So now in terms of the ESC and flight controller that I'd recommend to go with this, I'd say go with the Mamba F722S stack. Uh, it's a little expensive, but uh, it'll handle the voltages just great. And uh, that's that's kind of what I have in my other build. I don't want to spoil the entirety of the other build um, before, I, before I make a video on that. But that's a great FC ESC combo if you want to just buy one. I'd say, though, put a dang capacitor on there. Put a big fat capacitor on there because these things are power hungry. And having a capacitor on there will, will help out with your temperatures, like your motor temperatures. And, uh, and, and just overall, it just clean up a lot of noise. So now the propellers that I actually paired with it are these. These are the quad blade propellers from HQ Prop. These are, that's the model number if you guys want that. Um, this is the HQ Durable Prop, the 4.8 by 3.4 by 4. Uh, I just wanted a stealthy black build. I actually fly with these all the dang time in my normal, like my normal builds. They all have these quad blades. These quad blades flew perfectly fine. I also have these on the side that I used before. Uh, they were all right, but I really like how uh, how grippy and, and uh easily maneuverable these props are so they fared very well with this i'll tell you that right now they fared very well with this i i love this combo i think this combo is spectacular whatever propellers you want to put on there you can put on there but i like this combo right here um but that's up to y'all let's talk about what i actually think about these guys you guys know that i kind of like them because i said it in the beginning of the video i like them go buy them these are great i think they're spectacular the only few negatives that i thought were some features that some higher end motors have that the, these don't have, uh, but that's just me being picky. These are fast as crap. Uh, so if you've never really flown 1800 kV or the equivalent of 4S, which is 2750 kV, uh, it's fast. <laughs> like it's it's quite it's quite the experience. I know there are motors that are faster than that, but I think these are great if you want a five inch racer, a five inch freestyler, if you want to uh, just you know, shred it out there. I think these are great. So one other thing that I wanted to talk about is durability. I think these are relatively durable, but um, within the first few flights and the first few crashes on grass, I got a few scratches on my motors. Um, so this paint, don't expect it to be stealthy black all the dang time. Uh, don't expect it to be 100% clean all the time. It it'll, it scratches up pretty dang easily. I think the material is relatively sturdy to a point where if you hit even like 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 maybe like like relatively high up and hit it on concrete, like it should be should be fine as long as you're not 100% like falling like a meteor out of the sky. Then pretty much any motors would 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 get bashed in and destroy it. <laughs> but I think in terms of durability, I would rate it about the same as my uh, daily drivers, uh, which I actually haven't even replaced it for uh, for a little while, actually. Um, so I, I'd say the durability is about the same as my my smooth motors. A little word of caution: I would not pair these with LED lights on your quad. I don't know if it was the way that I wired it up or something, but one of my lights busted out when I first turned it on. I don't know what it was, but I, I just be careful about that. It's probably just my user error, uh, me being dumb. But I'd say be careful. Uh, in terms of uh, using this with like those 4S to 6S capable LED lights that I showed off before. I'd keep those for lower KV 6S motors or, you know, just 4S motors in general. So, yeah, just a word of caution. So one of the final flaws that I wanted to mention were the motor screws. These are short as crap. I don't know what... I don't know what build these are meant for, but these are short as crap. I have a link in the description for a bunch of M3 screws that you guys can buy of varying lengths uh, for your quads, but these are trash. Like the, the screws that it come with are, are, are just terrible. So uh, <laughs> don't expect to just build your quad right out the bat, um, like right out the box, because these screws are just atrocious. I have new screws linked in the description for you guys to buy. In terms of mo motor heat, these did get relatively hot when I was at 100% and I was shredding it, 
these did get relatively hot. They were hot to the touch, uh, but the temperature where I'm from is around 85 degrees Fahrenheit, like all the time. So 85 degrees flying temperature and they still got pretty hot. <laughs> My 4S motors, on the other hand, uh, not hot at all in this temperature, uh, but but yeah, it's black. It'll uh, keep its heat a lot more as well from the outside and from the inside. So, I mean, shoot, take that with whatever way you want to take it. <laughs> but these do get relatively hot to the touch. Not so hot to a point where you're like, oh my God, I'm about to, like, this quad is about to blow up. No, no, no. It, it just got... It got pretty hot though. So if if you're if you end up buying these motors and are just like, wow, these motors are hot. What do I do? Like these are extremely hot motors. Uh, is there something wrong? Is there something wrong with my quad? No, this just it, it's it's normal. Like <laughs> it gets pretty dang hot. Uh, that's my other only complaint. Like I really don't have many complaints apart from that. The fact that it does get a little hot um, to the touch uh, when you're flying. And there are a few things that could be improved, like the strands could be a little cleaner. Uh, there could be a couple of other things that they could have included for, for the price. Um, but yeah, these are great. Unibel design, really nice uh, shaft. I'm pretty sure it's a steel shaft. I'm not exactly 100% sure. The fact that it weighs 33.8 grams, I, it makes me feel like it might be the heavier stuff up there. And yeah, I mean, it's great. These are <laughs> these are great motors. I would 100% recommend them. Uh, I think this ended up being a shorter video than my usual videos, but that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's a quick little video. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting as often. I started school, um, so I'm going to be very busy, but I'm going to try to post relatively often uh, for you guys. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this this product, please let me know. Click the description uh, link, the link in the description. Uh, if you guys want to go and buy them, uh, that'll help me out a little bit because I'll get a little, little kickback from it as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.